Hello everybody, my name is Allison and I write YA Fantasy and today I'm going to be doing the Disney tag which I was tagged by Ally M Books to do this tag which I'm so excited about. I have my Hercules shirt on, it says I'm a damsel, I'm in distress, I can handle this because I love Hercules. It's actually one of my favorite Disney movies but also my favorite myths. I just love the Hercules myths, anything that's Hercules I'm all about. And I actually worked for Disney for a while and I worked in entertainment and it was a lot of fun and so this is just right up my alley and I'm so glad that she tagged me in it. So I'm going to hop right into it. I have the questions on my phone so if you see my phone, sorry. <laughs> the first question is a scene in any Disney movie you wish you could experience. There's so many that I wish I could just be a part of, like the awesome musical numbers and like, I don't know, I love it. But I would have to say the very merry unbirthday scene in the Alice in Wonderland movie because I love Alice in Wonderland. If you, you can't tell, my whole tree is Alice in Wonderland themed. I love that scene and I think it's just such a fun scene and I love the Mad Hatter and the March Hare and the Dormouse and I just think it would be so much fun to be in that scene and just be like move down move down clean cup clean cup and so I love I love that scene. Number two is an unforgettable experience you've had in the park. My parents first took me when I was three and I've been going ever since. I've been going for almost 20 years now because I'm going to be 23 in April and I love Disney and I've had so many magical experiences in Disney um, especially because I worked for them there was a lot of magical experiences that happened behind the scenes which I can't talk about but um, I think my first magical experience I've ever remember having and I was three and back then characters I mean at Disney characters Disneyland characters kind of just roam around um, but back when I was younger it was a lot different and one night I think it was one of our last nights I had my book and I went up to Snow White and she was actually leaving um, to go off set but she stopped and she came back up and she talked to me she signed my book we got a picture and I, that's just still ingrained in my mind to this day and the reason why I've always wanted to work for Disney and that why I did work for Disney Disney because of those magical experiences and I just I don't know I think that was a really magical experience that made me fall in love with Disney because that um, moment when Snow White came up and took the time even though she was going off to like go bake a pie for the dwarfs uh, she still stopped and was like hi and like all sweet and I just I, I will forever remember that moment and it's crazy because I don't remember a lot from when I was three but I remember that very vividly. <laughs> Question number three is what non-Disney songs remind you slash bring you back to memories of Disney or the parks and I would have to say my one song that I can put together that's not Disney because everything that's Disney reminds me of Disney <laughs> because it's always playing in the parks but was the Copacabana um it's at the Copacabana if you know that song it was the first song I got to dance in the parks so Disney does this thing or at least Disneyland um does this thing with the performing arts and studios will come and dance and sing or choirs will come and sing and bands will come play and like the parade so when I was younger it was in Disneyland and it was by the train kind of in Toontown area they have a area that was a stage it's not there anymore now they do it in Disney California Adventures but I remember very vividly dancing my first year being able to dance at Disney because you had to be like eight I think um, you had to be older in the company to go dance and oh, that was my jazz number, the Copacabana. So that was really fun. We wore like a red like little outfit that was like had a crinoline underneath and we had like a red feather in our hair and actually I still have the feather to this day and it was just a really fun time and we I did that for a long time. I danced a lot at the parks but a lot of the times we danced to Disney songs like one time 
we danced to Hannah Montana's Who Says. We danced to that song and that was really fun. So we danced a lot to Disney songs just because why wouldn't you want to dance to Disney songs in Disneyland? The next question is what, when was the first time you went to a Disney park? Like I said, I was three years old. The next question is if you could choose any Disney character to be your best friend, who would you choose? Honestly, I'm going to go with Meg from Hercules. Uh, I love her humor. She's sassy and sarcastic and I feel like we would get along great and it would be a great friendship and like, I don't know, I really like Meg. Um, I mean, honestly, there's so many that I would like to be friends with, but I think me and Meg would get along just fine. <laughs> Next question is, who is your favorite Disney princess? <sighs> How do you choose? Um, Alice isn't a princess. Um, I'm going to go with the Little Mermaid because that's the character that I grew up on. Um, her and Mulan and Pocahontas were like the three main like princesses in my generation um so I'm gonna go with definitely uh Ariel because I, I I don't know I just I had an Ariel birthday party I loved that movie I literally watched The Little Mermaid so many times when I was younger that my mom was like gonna rip her hair out um so I think that is the Disney princess I'm gonna go with even though I have so many. The next question is name a scene slash moment in any Disney movie that never fails to make you cry. <sighs> Can we just say the up beginning? Up's beginning. If you know, you know because like that scene makes me cry every single time I watch it. That like beginning scene every single time. Next question is what is the first Disney movie you remember seeing? And I'm gonna split this into two. In theaters, the first Disney movie I remember seeing was Finding Nemo. Um, I remember this specifically because my brother was little and he was like, I wanna say he was like one or two and he like didn't wanna sit in the movie theater. So my mom left me in the theater and I sat with like my little tray and like my Slurpee and like my popcorn and my mom said I was so good and I just remember watching Finding Nemo in the theaters but for the first ever movie I remember seeing I would have to say 101 Dalmatians was the first movie I remember actually like sitting down and watched. I loved 101 Dalmatians. I watched it so much. Um, I would like watch it and then start it over, watch it and start it over. I loved that movie I haven't watched it in a really long time which makes me sad I need to watch that um so that's the one that I remember either that or the little mermaid were ones that I remember watching consistently when I was younger so one of those two the next question is what is your favorite Disney movie this is so hard for me to answer because I have so many favorites but I'm gonna go with the one I've probably seen the most and that would be Mulan I love Mulan so much. I love Alice. Like, I love Alice. Don't get me wrong. But Mulan, I could quote you Mulan all day, every day. Like, I know the whole movie because one summer, I think it was our junior year summer going into our senior year, me and my best friends literally watched Mulan every single day, like, over and over and over and over and over again. I don't know why. We just love Mulan. We love the music. I... Like, I love the characters in it. I love Mushu. I love the cricket. I love the grandma. Honestly, the grandma makes the whole movie for me because the last scene when the, she's like, you want to stay for dinner? And the grandma yells, you want to stay forever? Like, I love Mulan. The next question is, who is your favorite Disney villain? And I always say Maleficent. I don't know. I love Maleficent. I think she's just so cool like and she's so petty like she literally cursed the child because she wasn't invited to the christening or the first birthday party or something like that she wasn't invited to a party so she cursed the baby she's like i'll teach you not to invite me on the guest list like i just i don't know and she's sassy and i love the maleficent live action with angelina jolie and I think it's Elle Fanning. I love that one. I don't know. I, I love Maleficent and she's, she's pretty cool. She turns into a dragon too. So like who was the mother of dragons first? 
not Khaleesi. This question is, what is your least favorite Disney movie? Honestly, I would have to say my least favorite Disney movie would probably be like The Fox and the Hound. Um, I've seen it like twice. Wasn't a fan when I was younger, so that's probably my least favorite. The next question is, what's your favorite Disney song? <sighs> so many. Um... I'm gonna go with I Won't Say I'm In Love from Hercules that Meg sings because I can belt that song out all the time, any day, every day. So the next question is what Disney character has your personality or has your dream personality? Um, I said Meg earlier so I feel like it's cheating to use her again but Meg <laughs> um, has my personality. I think she's very sarcastic and I don't know I just feel like were like the same person but my dream personality probably Rapunzel I, I love Rapunzel's personality she's just so bubbly and fun and she's always ready for adventure and like she's so caring and loving and just like outgoing I feel like that's a dream personality for me like I am outgoing but not like Rapunzel outgoing so I think that's my favorite or my dream personality. The next question is, if you could change any scene in the Disney movie, what would it be and why? Yeah, I don't have one. I wouldn't change anything about any Disney movie. And the last question is, if you could get stuck on any ride at any Disney park for more than 30 minutes, what would it be? Um, so I've like thought about this question so much because I don't want to get stuck in like, a water ride because I don't like water that much and like it kind of freaks me out like how will we evacuate like I know how you evacuate the water rides but still I would be the one that fell in and be wet for the rest of the day let's just stay away from water um honestly I'm gonna go with like Peter Pan or like Mr. Toad's Adventure because they're like you're in something like you're sitting but you're not like it's not like crazy restricted where you're uncomfortable like you're not in like a pullover lap bar and if it's hot it's very cool in those rides so those rides are very like air conditioned well because they're kids rides and i always love to go in there when it's hot in the summer so probably that one of those rides, probably Peter Pan, because I love Peter Pan and I wouldn't get annoyed with like the sounds and stuff. So that is my Disney tag. Thank you so much to Allie for tagging me in this super fun tag. I tag anyone that's watching this video because anyone can do it and I wanna see all of your responses. So leave them down below. If you make a video, link the video and I'll go watch it. And then if you don't have a YouTube channel you can just leave your responses down in the comments because I like to know and if you liked my channel and you like my video hit that red subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that way you're notified every time that I upload a video and go ahead and hit that thumbs up if you like this video so I know and I can do more tag videos until next time in Wonderland loves bye